Folks, a lot of people watch my little tutorials about InDesign, and one person asked me how to do strike through text, you know, where you put a line through a piece of text. So I'm going to jump right into it and show you how you do this. And then I might make a comment, comment or so about Adobe InDesign. <laughs> so first of all, how do you do it? Let's say I pick a, a word here. This is a drug card, something I did, did for work. So it's boring content, but it's a good example to show you how to strike through some text. Let's say I want to strike through this most common for some reason. I have no idea why. So most people, when they go, that they're in like the text editing mode and they're looking for strike through up here, looking for some option. And crap, well, where is it? Well, it's not there. And the reason why is over here, there's a little hidden, I don't know why Adobe puts it over there. And there may be some way that you can put these things on this up here where you can get to the things you use more often. But I always just find it over here on the far right, this little nondescript looking uh, box here. You pull down, look at there, strike through options. Cool, right? So there's a lot of options, a lot of things that people are looking for. They don't know where they are in InDesign. They're just right there. They just hide them in this far out of the way place. I don't know why they put them there, but they do. <laughs> and, and so a lot of what you'll be looking for that mystifies you might be in that little box. So here we are back to strike through. I've got my preview turned on so I can see what happens. I'm going to turn strike through on. And so we can see automatically uh, where I have this here. We can, I can move this anywhere I want it to be, but I can see the line. I can here if I want to, I can go, I can change the weight of it. So I can go up and make it thicker, right? Uh, I can change the offset, which might, maybe I want to set a little lower. So look at that. You can make it go down lower or higher. I don't want it to be two point, maybe one, excuse me, one point. And so there you go. And you can also pick what kind of, you know, you want it to be strike, strike through, thin, thick, thin. You can use three strike throughs if you want to, you know, typically we're going to use that solid. Uh, you can choose your color if you want to, and of course this has to be a color that's been established previously. It'll come up by default with its own little limited set of colors. If you look over here, I have a bunch of colors because I have these cards, uh, some custom colors I've made uh, for different categories of drugs. So I can pick a custom color if I want to out of here, or I can use one of these, which are the, kind of the default colors that are always there in Adobe InDesign. Let's say I want to use this, uh, I don't know, this purple here for Ace. And I do that and I'll say OK. And when I click off of it here, I can see I've got a purple uh, strike through line on there. So my comment I was going to make that shows you how to do it. My comment was going to be that, yeah, I don't know why. If, you, if you're looking, if certain things are confusing you about how to find some functionality in InDesign, it's all there. It'll do anything. But you might go looking for these little uh, stuff under here. I know your drop caps, some of your, some of your nested styles and stuff are in here. Uh, definitely your bullets and your number. And I go in here all the time for that. You can shade paragraphs. There's just all kinds of stuff. And it does say, look at that, you can dock at top, dock at bottom, float. So we can float this whole thing, I'm guessing. Let me say, I never have tried to do it, but what, what just happened? Look at that. So now, do I have that? I've got bullets here. And that, all that did was float my, uh, my toolbar, didn't it? So really, I don't want to do that. That's not what that does. We'll go back to dock at top which is what I'd rather it do. But yeah, there you go. That is how you find some of those additional uh, functionality type things there that you don't have. So that's it, striking through text. And uh, send me any other questions you have. I'll try to help you out anything. Uh, there's not, I don't understand everything about InDesign, but I've been using it for many years, probably 16, 18 years now, 15 years. I don't wanna lie, a long time. Peace to all who watch, subscribe to the channel if you like.